Hi everyone, I'm Kyle Utterback of Intelligent Minds Accounting Solutions and today is going to be the second part video of Bill.com where you can look and see how the accounts payable works within Bill.com. Let's go take a look. This is the home page of a demo company in Bill.com. Over to the right you can see that there's a to-do list for tasks that need to be done. There's a quick overview of your accounts payable and your accounts receivable. There's also a ribbon up here, which normally would go away, but since this is a demo company, not everything is gonna be implemented. Also, to the left, there's a ribbon, and you can see your accounts receivable, your accounts payable options. Where I wanna start is this inbox. If I click on the inbox, it takes me to my bill.com inbox. If you notice, up top, it'll show you your unique bill.com email address. This is so that vendors can email you directly their invoices. And when there is an invoice that is sent, it'll automatically show up in your inbox. So let's say this is something that was sent to me. Here's an invoice. I have some options where I can do, where I can add it to an existing vendor. I can just add it as a document for backup if need be. But what I wanna do is actually add the invoice to be paid. So I'm gonna click on review and save. As you notice, some of the stuff is automatically populated because it recognizes the input within the invoice. So I'm gonna add the vendor to the invoice, Fix-It Consulting. Here's my vendor information. It is sent through check. I have the amount, I have the invoice number. If I had a PO number, I could add that. I have the terms already added. I can add a bill description so I can include consulting services for website and and integration. I can pick the account that I want to add. So I could say um, I could say it's information technology. Uh, I could do consulting, computer science. This is website design. This is tied to your GL account with whatever uh, accounting console you use. So if you use Xero or Sage Intact, it will pull your accounts in here so that you can select the one so that it will automatically be added to your accounting co console without having to do it separately. So let's say we want to do both. We have web site design, and that is for $1,200. Um, I can add another one and also say um, the rest I want to consulting, which is going to be for $10,000. And I also want to send someone for approval. So I'm going to send it to myself for approval. Make sure everything is in there and correct. I can see the address, and the address is correct, so I don't need a adjust anything, and I can click save and close. Now if I go to bill approvals, I will now see that there is a bill for me to approve. So I can click on the invoice, I could take a look at it, but it's the same invoice that we see. Um, I can review the information that was inputted. I can see that it's overdue because this is from 2011 from this demo invoice. And I can say approve. Once approved now, I can go to my bills and I can find Fix It Consulting that I just approved right here. And I can click on it. I can select what bank account I want to pay for if I had a bank account set up and I'd click Review and Pay. Once in there, it'll show my account number, it'll show an invoice number, which will be printed on the check. Again, I'd select the bank account that I'm gonna pay it from once it was set up. I would select my business type as a vendor type. It shows me all the information and I'd click Pay. Now this won't work because it is a demo company and there's a bank account set up and a check will automatically be sent by bill.com to the vendor. 
Another way is that I can also set up a vendor as ACH, and that way the vendor can either input their ACH info, or they can give it to me and I can input it, and they can get paid quicker, and it'd be paid through ACH that way. As you can see, having something like bill.com can help streamline your accounts payable process. In the next video, we'll show how simple it is to do accounts receivable, add invoices and send them invoices and that they can pay you also through ACH so that you can get paid quicker as well.